Afternoon Keto fam, this is Keto Kelly, just getting her done. I'm going to start renaming my videos Kelly's Keto Kitchen. You like it? Let me know. Or Keto Cooking with Kelly. Suggestions below. I'm going to go ahead and name this one um, Kelly's Keto Kitchen. Alright. In my walk, today is uh, uh, St. Patrick's Day, so I, I, I got my green on today. I am... Irish. Well, some of me is Irish. So I'm going to do a quick keto uh, Irish meal. As you can see, I got some radishes here. And if you've never used radishes, oh, let me back up. What I got in my wok is some di uh, four slices of bacon diced, a very small onion. It's actually a little bit larger than a golf ball, not very big. And a little bit of butter sauteing in there. I want to get that cooking and going before I add anything else because everything else is going to take a short amount of time. The bacon's going to take the longest. So I got this sauteing in here. You see? Bacon and onion. I got it on a fairly high heat that you can see underneath. Um, I have some of the Libby's canned corned beef. And here's the macros. It says zero carbs. I'm going to add one per serving because in the ingredients it does say sugar. It's next to last on the list and it is listing zero, but always add at least one because if sugar is listed. But the ingredients are cooked corned beef, cooked beef, beef, water, salt, sugar, and sodium. That's it. Now, right here I have radishes. Now, if you've never eaten radishes as a substitute for potatoes, do it. Because they don't taste anything like they do when they're cooked, uh, like when they're raw. They're quite good when they're cooked. I'm going to throw that in there and let them start to cook down a little bit. They're going to get tender for my seasonings. Always salt, pepper, and garlic. That is my go-to salt, pepper, and garlic. So I want to uh, just say that I think since uh, doing the, the cooking, I think I kind of want to go a little bit more toward that route because I'm, I'm further out and I'm a little bit more comfortable with coming in and showing you my stuff. Not my stuff. My stuff behave. So, yeah, this is, uh, I think this is going to be my avenue for people who are just starting out, because I keep it fairly simple. I try not to overcomplicate things. Turn that down just a little bit. I try not to overcomplicate things because in the beginning of keto, you should always keep it simple. If you go onto Pinterest and you see all these, uh, um, recipes and stuff where you have to substitute this and substitute that. It's so much easier if you just use natural things, stuff that's readily available to people. It just makes keto so much easier and, and more sustainable because a lot of people don't want to jump in and start, oh that's too complicated, I don't want to go through all that and whatever. It's, just, it's too much. So. These will get tender. You want to make sure you don't cook the bacon too, too long because since these are, these are a little uh, harder, they are going to take almost as long as the bacon. Not as long, but and I like my bacon a little on the crispy side. And I'll, as always, cater this to your taste. This is your food. I'm telling you what my tastes are. You can try it, mine, and if you don't like it, adjust it the way you want as you go along. Take out the corned beef. If I can get it out of the can. There it goes. Or you can use fresh corned beef. I just didn't have any corned beef cooked up, so I'm just going to use the can, which isn't bad. And, and I like uh, corned beef hash, too, and what I've done with this, I have... Uh, slow pre-cooked 
some like real small pieces of cauliflower in the microwave real quick or you can use them raw, it doesn't matter. Uh, put it in a frying pan, saute them with some butter, throw the corned beef in there and it, you really, it's not a huge difference between the cauliflower and the potatoes. I haven't done it with the radishes before. I might try that. Hold on, wash your hands. So, okay. Now, you can pick up a head of cabbage if you want. I just, I grabbed these. It's, it's the angel hair slaw, which is going to cook fairly quickly because it's cut really thin. But if you pick up a head of cabbage, cut it however, if you want little bite-sized pieces or if you want to cut, you know, a, a little bit thicker pieces, you just know that you have to cook it a little bit longer. Alright, and with the, the corned beef, I do like the little crunchy bits in my corned beef. I don't know how everybody else likes to eat it, but I do like the little crunchy bits. Alright, let me turn that back up a little bit. I'm going to grab one of these, see how tender they are. There you go. Guys. If you're missing potatoes, radishes. All the twang and radishes when you cook them goes away. Like, you know, like the little red potatoes. I don't peel mine. I, I don't see it a necessity to peel it. You don't really need to. I don't know. If you miss some potatoes, get some radishes. See what we got going on in there, guys. Here, let me give you a nice big close-up. Yum. Okay. Now, I'm going to let, I'm going to collect this all on the bottom. And I'm going to let that get a little on the crunchy side. Now I'm going to put this right on the top. I'm not going to stir it yet, I just want to set it on the top so it can start to steam. Oh look, I got it all over my shirt. Oh, oh. 10 minutes to 1. So I wanted to get this going so by 1 o'clock I'll be, be eating. Now I want to add a little bit more pepper. A little bit more salt and a little bit more garlic on the top. Now, it's about a tablespoon of apple cider vinegar. Once this starts to cook down, I'm going to add the apple cider vinegar to it. When I cook my corned beef, and I always boil my corned beef, Always add about, depending on how many you do, I usually do two flat cuts. I'll put about a half a cup of apple cider vinegar in it prior to it starting to boil. That will tenderize it, but I also like the bite of the apple cider vinegar. So I'm going to add that to this once everything starts to cook down. So let that sit and steam a little bit. Also, I need to do a revision uh, on Tuesday. Or an update, rather. On Tuesday, it was reported that the uh, YouTube sensation Auntie Fee had passed away. Um, the family had reported that. I had reported it. Uh, it turns out that she did have a massive heart attack, but she is on life support. So she is still alive. So I'm hoping that she pulls through. So we're, I'm thinking about you, Auntie Fee. Even though I just recently just discovered your videos. I don't know. I had a connection. And maybe that's why I had her on my mind all day. Because it, it wasn't... Maybe because it just wasn't true. I don't know. But I'm, I'm re revising my um, statement about her passing away. She, uh, as of this morning, when I read the, the report, she has not passed away. So, okay. Yeah. Let's give this a turn. This looks a hot mess. But I can promise you it tastes good. If you like this kind of stuff. If you don't like this kind of stuff, shit, don't make it. Alright, that cabbage is going to cook fairly quickly. 
but I do want to put a little bit of a crunch on it because I do like th that kind of stuff crunchy. I like my corned beef hash crunchy too, so that's why I always uh, uh, cook it real good. Don't flip it. Let the stove do its job. Like, it will get crispy if you if you don't keep it. It's not going to. You got to let it set. Let the stuff cook. All right. Not a lot. Again, adjust it to your taste. If you like the apple cider vinegar, then put apple cider, you know, as much as you want in there. Yum. I smell the mango. Alright. Now that the cabbage has gotten a little soft, that's what I'm going to do. I'm going to put it right up on high again. Let my stove get right up cranking. Remember that word, babe, bro? Cranking? Cranking your cranker? <laughs> Throw back. Alright. No, that's not for you, this is baby. You. you don't eat my cabbage. You're not Irish. You're Tibetan. You're from Tibet. You don't like Irish stuff. She's a Tibet dog. Lots of are from Tibet. You're Asian. Let me stop. Get out of the way. Find a way. Okay. Yeah, I can smell the vinegar. Ah, oh, yes. Alright, now I want to give it a taste. Just to see if I have to adjust anything. And it's going to be hot, so I can't put no hot stuff in my mouth, so give me a second. And I love corned beef and cabbage. It's probably the Irish in me. Salt. And garlic. up I may add a little bit more apple cider vinegar to it I can't really taste it but I wanted to start with a little bit because I don't want to overpower it but if I want to add more I can always add more to it after I've, I've put it on my plate which I'm gonna do right now this looks like a hot mess Okay, guys. This is all the uh, this is the apple cider vinegar I have right now. I need to get some more of the brogs. All right. I see you eyeballing me. I see you eyeballing me. You eyeballing me. way too hot that makes a difference just that little bit of apple cider vinegar and it's great for gut health guys apple cider vinegar is great for gut health oh. that's good mm -hmm. Good stuff, guys. Okay. Happy Valentine's Day. Happy St. Patrick's Day, guys. Go ahead and give it a try. Start small. Um, it, start with the, with the radishes first and see how you like those. Okay, guys? Love you. Have a great day. Bye.